Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to my channel for another 1 12th scale figure unboxing and review video. Now today we're going to be taking a look at none other than the Soap Studios Reverse Flash based off his appearance in the CW TV show. Now this is my first ever Soap Studios product but I am pretty darn excited. I love the idea of basically taking a 1 6 scale figure, fully clothed and all, and shrinking it down to 1 12th scale, but retaining all of the added benefits of having interchangeable head sculpts and a fully fabric outfit. So we'll have to wait and see if this figure is indeed any good. Now I have also picked up a couple more Soap Studios products, so stay tuned to the channel for more reviews on 1 12th scale items. Now if you are looking to pick up the Reverse Flash, I do believe he's still in stock with ToysWonderland.com. A link for that will of course be down in the description below. They do have 12 month installment plans if you are a fan of paying off your figures over time. What we are going to do now is get the box laying flat in the light box and do the unboxing. And here of course we have the box art for the Reverse Flash. As you can see you do have an artistic style representation of Flash on the side here with this weird polygonal style artwork, but for some reason I really like it. CW Flash logo on the front and then of course a little diagram of what's included in the box. I really like this, shows that you got 27 points of articulation and all of the other various bits and pieces. Now unfortunately I don't actually have just the normal version of Flash, Grant Gustin. I hope to eventually go ahead and pick him up, but as far as I'm aware, this guy is a newer release, and since that early version of the first Flash, Soap Studios have learned a few tricks and improved their paint application process to no end. It's been a huge upgrade, apparently, between the first versions, which were the Arrow and Flash, and then the subsequent releases, being of course this guy and the newer figures. But here we have him, and I have to say, First in hand impressions, he feels pretty darn solid, like a mini little Hot Toys figure. Now I'm no stranger to these fabric covered 112 scale figures, I have a bunch of Mezco releases, but I'm curious to see if there are many differences between the way these guys do it and the way Mezco's done them. Now as you can see he comes with a tray of accessories, so what we are going to do now is get all of these bits and pieces laid out in the light box and take a closer look at everything he comes with. And here we have all of the accessories that come with the reverse flash. Now let's take a look at the display base first. It's super simple yet very effective. Reverse flash printed on the front there and a waist grabber up the top. Yes you can move this up and down in case you want to have him in a running pose. Now you do have a flash logo on the top here, but curiously enough it's not the reverse flash logo. I understand that's the logo for the show of course, but it would have been a nice touch if they'd inverted the colours of the logo itself. Now he does come with three different head sculpts, this one being the uncalled one. I really like the way it looks, I can see the likeness there to Harrison Wells aka Eobard Thorne. It's a really nicely sculpted and painted piece here, and I do like the very subtle smirk. Don't get me wrong, it's not 100% flawless, and if this was a much bigger 1 6 scale piece, then yes I'd probably be a little bit more critical, but for such a small size, I honestly think they did a really commendable job here. Now you do get two cowled sculpts, one with the disguised eyes and one with the visible eyes. You'll have to let me know which one you prefer down in the comments below, but I think I personally am leaning towards this one, I really like how evil it does look. Now to go along with the uncowled head sculpt, you get a cowl that you can use to hold in his hand. It is stitched in this position. I did initially think that you could have this on the back of the head and you probably still could wedge this into the collar and have it sit along his back, but I think it's mainly supposed to be used to have him holding it. Now he also comes with this piece which is his tachyon device. It's really nicely done, I love the paint applications, got this silver dry brush all over the entire thing, and yes it does just clip onto the front of the reverse flash. Now you do get multiple different lightning effect pieces, they are all different and they are all done in this translucent orange plastic. It looks really good, and of course you can pop these on the figure, you'll see that a little bit later 
in the video. The final pieces he does come with are of course his hands. I do like this subtle glossy section on the side there and of course the flash ring. Unfortunately it's not sculpted it is just painted but at this scale with these hands being as small as they are I'm personally perfectly fine with that. What we are going to do now though is get the reverse flash himself out here and take a closer look. And here we have him standing straight up and down in the light box no crazy poses or or accessories or anything like that and yeah so far I'm really impressed with this little guy they've packed a lot of detail into the suit and honestly I think that's the most impressive thing here yeah the accessories are pretty good and the head sculpts are fantastic but the suit in my opinion is what sets this guy over the top it's pretty much perfect in my opinion in terms of translating the reverse flash suit into a 112 scale version made out of fabric they nailed it what we are going to do now though is take him off the rotating turntable punch in and take a closer look at the details and here we have him up close and personal and yeah this suit is chock full of amazing detail just bear in mind this is a 112 scale figure Currently, there isn't a 1.6 scale version of this suit on the market, but Soap Studios weren't deterred. They went right ahead and made this thing happen, and it's a really impressive piece. Now, of course, we've already taken a look at all of the head sculpts, and it fits on the body really nicely. I like how the suit comes up and cups the neck here, so it creates a fairly seamless look. Now, as for the torso, it's really well done. I like this sort of lightning slash vein work coming from the center of the chest here, sort of emanating outwards. It's a really ominous and evil look. You can also see a little bit of a black wash in all of the crevices as it comes down to the hands, which are, of course, black gloves. It's a really unique and interesting design for reverse flash, and I love the way it looks. Usually, they just go with a yellow suit and a couple of red accents, but for the CW show, they couldn't really do that. It would have looked a little bit boring on screen, so they spruced it up a little bit, gave it a lot more detail, even some rivets up here on the shoulders, which are captured perfectly in this suit here. Now, it may sound like I'm gushing, but I really am that impressed with how teeny and tiny this guy is, but how much detail is in the suit. There's multiple different sections with different textures, as you can see here. There's more of a smooth section on the leather, whereas on these rubbery sort of pieces that would, of course, be rubberized in the show to allow more movement, they have this ribbed style finish. I really like the way it looks. Then you have these other sections with the rivets punched in and the red panel lining all the way around. I can't imagine this suit was an easy thing to recreate in this scale, but they definitely did a really good job. Now as you come down to the boots, it gets darker once again. As you get down here though, these look really darn good as well. A nice black boot with the red paint up top. And yes, you do have a little bit of toe articulation to get him into some fantastic running style poses. You do also have some detail on the underside of the shoes. Overall, yeah, I'm pretty impressed with this guy. There's a lot to love here. There are a couple of things which do restrict movement in terms of the nature of the fabric they've chosen, but we'll talk about that a little bit more when we get to the articulation. Overall, though, I'm really impressed with the reverse flash here. Now for a quick side-by-side -side comparison, here we have the Mezco BVS Batman standing alongside the Soap reverse flash. I really like the way this looks. Reverse flash is about right in terms of the height, I like the proportions on the body and he does fit being a fabric styled clothed figure. I think it'll work in your display. Granted, he will work better with the rest of the figures in his own line, being of course the arrow and the flash from soap. But if you wanted to use him with your Mezcos, I think personally you could probably get away with it. Just going over articulation on the reverse flash. Now bear in mind this is my personal copy of the figure so I'm going to be a little bit more careful. I'm sure when you get yours in hand you can push the joints slightly further than I'm willing to go. Now starting off with the head sculpt it is on a fixed neck so it does get a fairly decent range of motion but not an insane amount. Swivel and pivot side to side. The arms go out to about there. They go forward to about there. There is a butterfly joint at the shoulder and a swivel at the bicep. Double bend for the elbow and a regular 112 scale style joint 
for the wrist. As for the torso, you do have swivel, crunch, forward and back, and pivot side to side. The legs go forward to about there. They go out to about there. You have a swivel at the upper thigh, double bend at the knee, and of course a ball joint down here at the ankle. Just wrapping up on the Soap Studios Reverse Flash. Now going into this video I had no idea what to expect because I've never owned anything from Soap Studios before. But now, at the end of the video, I can honestly say that, yeah, this guy gets a recommendation. I really like him. The body choice is great, the accessories are pretty much fantastic, and the outfit is really well done. I love the outfit. For 112 scale, they nailed it. Plus, the icing on the cake, the head sculpts are really well painted and detailed. It might just be one of my favorite 112 scale figures to date. Now, the only thing that may potentially stop you from picking up this guy is the fact that their first Flash figure, being of course just Barry Allen, wasn't all that fantastic. They've learned a lot since then, and I'm hoping they do a 2.0 version of him to go along with this guy, because this guy is way better than that first version of the Flash. Now, I do believe you can still pick him up from ToysWonderland.com. Link for that is, of course, in the description down below. Also, while you're down there, why not check out the link to Six Scale Network, the awesome Facebook group. Come along, chat figures, share photos of your collection, and of course, see what's coming up next on the channel. Like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll catch you in the next video.